Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I just got the Android Marshmallow update on my Galaxy Note 5. I will be doing a full review of it, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you're notified of that. But right now, I want to talk about the new browser that they've come out with, and it's called Samsung Internet 4.0, and it will be coming to any Galaxy device that's going to get the Android Marshmallow update. So of course the S7 is going to have it right out of the box because it's going to be launched with Marshmallow as well. But anyways, there's a lot of new features, a lot of new in-app features as well. So let's check out this new browser. Samsung's Internet 4.0 brings a couple new features, one of them being secret mode, the other one being cross app functionality. And I will show you both of them. Now, when you tap the top of the URL bar, it does bring up some suggested uh, websites to go to. Now let's go to secret mode, tabs down at the bottom right, and you'll see turn on secret. When you set it up, you set it up with a password and also you can set it up with a password or your fingerprint as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingerprint and you'll see I am now into secret mode. So all of my browsing history does not get saved, doesn't save cookies, passwords, anything like that. It's like incognito mode in Chrome. Now, also another nice feature is that you can add bookmarks into secret mode when you have your password. So if you have any websites that you don't want bookmarked on your standard web browsing, but in secret mode, you'll see I have one right there. Tim takes me to QBKing77.com. Now, while in secret mode, if I back out of it, go home and then hop back into the browser, it's going to ask you for your passcode again. So if you back out of it at all, and you'll see if you want to get back to your browser, you can just hit turn off secret and it's going to bring you back into it. However, if you turn on secret, it should load up that website that was open. It does save your browser in that sense. Obviously, if you close out of it, you're not going to be able to go back to it. So let's check out some cross app functionality. So we go into the messaging app and this is just seems to be with the stock Samsung apps. So let's say I want to go to a website here. I tap it and you'll see this web page just came up from the bottom and loaded on up. Now watch if I swipe down. I can close it out, but it stays loading down at the bottom, but I'm back in that messaging app. So it loads up the website while in the messaging app. Pretty awesome right there. And then also another nice in-app functionality is you can play video messages straight there. So you'll see it's playing the video. If you press these arrows, it's going to put it into full screen, but that's obviously not something you'd necessarily need, but awesome. I can still swipe up and there's that website right there all within the messaging app. Now let's go ahead and go into the S Note application. So if I go ahead and go into it, go to a website, it loads it up. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe the website down and I'm gonna add another note. So I'm gonna hit edit to this note and I'm just going to add amazon.com and hit save. So amazon.com got added. So if I tap on amazon.com, it's just gonna load up that website. You can simultaneously switch between websites all while being in a specific app. And like I said, you could swipe down, you have options to share, more brings up add to bookmarks, add shortcut to home screen, and you could just open in a browser if it's something that you wanna physically go into that browser and do. But overall, that's really about it. That's Samsung's new Internet 4.0 on Galaxy devices running Marshmallow and up. Like I said, more Marshmallow coverage on Galaxy Note 5, S6, S7 coverage coming soon as well. So make sure you do subscribe to my channel. Uh, click that button below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.